All right, so here's the scenario. You have a SQL Server table, which feeds a Power BI report, and it refreshes every night. And your report it used to automatically refresh to give you the latest data for the latest date. But something happened. I don't know if it was last week. I don't know if it was last month. I don't know if it was yesterday. But someone messed around with the report. And for some reason now, whenever we refresh, it doesn't refresh for the latest data. The day just keeps adding, the data keeps adding, and you 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 don't have the ability to see the latest data automatically when you open the report. So how do we fix that? Well, let's take a look at the report first, see what's going on, and then I'll show you how to fix it. It's super, super simple. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. SQL Dev DBA here, and if this is your first time watching, this channel is dedicated to sharing tools and methods that you can use to grow your career in the data field. Here, you'll find videos about databases like SQL Server and Oracle, tools for business intelligence like Power BI, and information about the hiring process, including things like technical interviews. And if you wanna watch me live, I have weekly live streams on Twitch. My channel information is right here in the description below. Stop by and say hi or ask a question. Hope to see you soon. All right, so here we are. We have this very simple report. As you can see, it's the sales for Australia. We have a grid here that is sorted descending. So we see all the latest data first. We have a line graph here that will show you the sales by day. And we have this date filter. Now this date filter is the important one and it's probably the cause for all your troubles. You find yourself having to go in and edit the report change the date, slide it to the latest date, right? That's kind of annoying because the data is updating automatically, the report's refreshing automatically. Why are you having to go in and change the date? So what I've done is I've already published this to the web. So we have this report and it's already published to web. As you can see, it has data for February 5th of 2025. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a record here to our table. As you can see, our SQL Server table also has 2.5 of 2025. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add one more record here, 2025-02-06 for February 6th, sales, Australia, and let's say it was 12,000. Now, when I refresh here, if I go online, I'll go to my workspace, which is data discoveries. I'll click refresh and I have my gateway set up. By the way, if you're looking for a video on how to set up a data gateway, check that link up there. I have a video about it, how to set it up, what it's good for, that sort of thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the Power BI slicer test report and I'll just click refresh up here, which is a normal thing, right? Every day you, you would go in, you either click refresh if it hasn't already or the very first time you open it, it's going to automatically be refreshed. And as you can see, 2.6, we got our data. Everything's good, right? All good. However, if you're watching this video, everything's probably not good and you don't get that. So what I'm going to do is actually just play around with this slicer for a second. I'm going to play around with it and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to edit it again and slide it over to the last date, 2.6 and I'll save it one more time. That's what killed your report. That's what's messing it up. Watch, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new record for 2-7, 2025, 02-07, sales, Australia, and they did really well today, how about 20,000? That's saved, okay? Now, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna refresh this report in the workspace, I'm gonna refresh their semantic model, there it is refreshed. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it again. And what happens? Watch that. Did you see that? It was a very, very slight movement. And when I click refresh, nothing happens. The 2.6, it stays as 2.6. And I know for sure, I'm the one that put the data in there. I know for sure that there's data in there for 2.7. Watch. I'm going to go ahead and slide it over and I can see the 2.7. And you're like, oh my God, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. I'll move it out to 2.7 and everything's fixed, right? No, unfortunately it's not. When you revert it, 
I might go back to 2.6 anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it, set it to 2.7, set the reading you, save it. And now the report is saved to go to 2.7. So everything should be good, right? I'm going to go to 2025-02-08. Sales, Australia. How about 18,000 today? And please, 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 can we get it to, to be fixed? Gonna go to data the discoveries. I'm gonna refresh. We'll wait for this little icon here to refresh and be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh no, it didn't work. It's still doing that and I still have to slide it over. Here's how you solve it. You just go ahead and edit the report. And what you're going to do is click on this eraser and huge thanks to my inspiration for creating this report. Andrew on Reddit. Andrew, thank you so much. I uh, hope you're having a great day and special shout out for you because you gave me the idea. Huge thanks and I um, uh, hope, you, hope you're well. So again, I'm clicking this little eraser. Now you can see that it immediately went over to 2.8, right? That's pretty cool. Let's see if that fixes our issue. Hint, it's going to fix our issue. So we're going to go to reading view. We'll save it. Everything's good to go. And now watch, I'm going to go ahead and add my 2.9, 2025 -02 sales, Australia, and let's say $22,000 today because things went well in Australia. We're going to go over here, go back to my workspace. We're going to refresh this report. All right. So now it's refreshed. We're going to go in and we're going to see that when we refresh right here, it's automatically there. I didn't have to change the slicer. I didn't have to extend it, nothing like that. So again, if you're having this issue, all you have to do is go in, edit it, clear it using the little eraser. You don't have to delete the whole thing again, like the whole slicer and add it back in, nothing like that. All you have to do is press this eraser and save it. You can also press the eraser in Power BI Desktop if you're editing it there, you can press the eraser here in Power BI Desktop and republish it, and you will get the latest data. It's not showing it here because I haven't refreshed, but here it is right here, 2.9, and I can re republish this and be fine. But you don't even have to do that. All you have to do is click on that eraser. Now, one specific thing I want to mention is if you have like a start date, so let's say you're only showing uh, 120 and forward, even though there's data for 1.1, as long as all you do is ensure that you click on the eraser first, like if you have one of those dates set, click on the eraser first and then go ahead and set that start date. So for example, I'm going to set it to 120 and I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to touch the right side. I'm going to click reading view, save. And now let's do this one more time. Let's go ahead and add a 210 record, 2025-02-10 sales. Australia, 25,000 today. It's all set. I'm going to go to workspaces. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this one. Wait for it to clear. It's good to go. So I'm going to go back in. And now we can see that my 120 is still there. But when I refresh, there's my 210. So again, you do not have to delete your slicer. You don't have to republish your report or anything. You just go in, you edit. You click the eraser to extend the dates all the way out. If you have a start date that you need to be solid, you can go ahead and make that adjustment after clicking the eraser. And then every single time you're going to open the report, it's going to have all the latest data automatically refreshed. All right, so hopefully this saved you quite a bit of time or hopefully it saved you very little time because you found it rather quickly. Special thanks again to Andrew for the inspiration to create this video. I hope this helps you out. And if you like what you see, feel free to check me out on Twitch. I'm live streaming every weekend about data, databases, and Power BI. So hope to see you there. Stop by and say hi or ask a question. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you out and whether or not um, it, you saved a ton of time. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.